why micro failures will make you a millionaire. If you wait to the end of this video, I'm going to share how that's happened, why I've become a millionaire through micro failures. So to kind of bring it all back to the beginning, what I found when I was first starting out in business is you expect and anticipate to get a plan, you get started with that plan and you'll be successful. However, I've been doing this for over a decade now and it's simply not the case. You can get a plan, you can get all the plans in the world that have been proven for other people, but when you go down that path and start applying that plan, you will, you should, and you very quickly will experience pain. Pain in, in the term of failure. However, that's to be expected. That's, that's what, something that, it may sound weird, but you should look for failures. If you're not seeing failures in your path, in your business growth, then you're not doing anything, you're not doing it correctly basically, you're not putting enough time, energy, effort. There must be failures for you to succeed. That really is it. A good case in point is my own company right now. Every single week, we've got loads of different, you know, fingers and pies in terms of all the different things we're doing in the business, got loads of moving parts, we've got a team of seven, a lot of things going on, a lot of variables. Naturally, every single variable is going to go well or it's going to fail at some degree and it's those failures that are keep pushing us forwards because we find something that works it then stops working we fix that failure and then it goes back up and starts producing again that is it that's the nature of the beast you must be doing enough in your business to see failures and then it's what you do when you see those failures that literally will make or break you like if you're not willing to push through the barriers in terms of all those continuous failures, then you don't deserve to be successful. That really is it. It's, it's, it can be a slog. It can be a grind. It should be, you know, my, my company's generated over $4 million now. Um, it shouldn't be straightforward. It hasn't been straightforward. That is why my clients work with me because essentially they work with me because they want to learn and avoid all the failures that I'm about to experience. That really is it. Obviously, there's um, variables in their own industries. So people that work with me, they obviously want to make online courses based on what they already know. There will always be industry-specific hurdles and things that they will find that are going to briefly fail. But then they can obviously get recalibration with me, overcome those failures, and keep moving forwards. But that really is it. As To summarize, you must seek out and find the failures to keep producing results. That is it. And again, as I say, it happens every single week in my own company. Things are working, like we're, we're running ads, we're dialing people, we're setting people. Um, we've got loads of different pages and funnels. There's always something going wrong. And that's, it's annoying at the time. It's very frustrating when things aren't going our way, but then it's a chance and opportunity to, to fix that failure, overcome and learn from it so it doesn't happen again. And then all that does is that just tightens up the whole process, the whole procedure and the whole business. And it becomes tighter and tighter and more bulletproof and more bulletproof as time goes on to the point where we're doing 200 grand months. And it's it's only going up from there because we are overcoming the failures that we keep getting each and every month. That is the only way. That's how the company has continuously grown. That's how we've grown to a really good team. I spent years again with team members that were subpar, finding the right people, that took ages, that took a lot of failures again, hiring failures, um, onboarding failures, their work ethic and a mismatch in terms of what we're looking for, all failures. And it's led us to the point where we now have, again, a team of seven, every single person is dialed in, they know exactly what they're doing, they know what they need to do because they've experienced all the things that haven't worked out in the past. We've been able to instill that in them moving forwards. That really is it. So if you're just getting started in business and you don't know what to do or you're scared of failing, uh, scared of failing, good, you should be. It will happen. And you have to learn how to adapt and overcome it to move forwards. If you're not willing to put in the work, not willing to put in the time, don't bother, to be honest. Get out of here. Just go and watch any old bollocks on YouTube, uh, cats, cat fails, whatever, and just forget about entrepreneurship. However, if you're willing to dig deep, put in the time and put in the effort, you've seen what happens. You've seen my client results. 
I'm shared in my, uh, if you're on my email list, I'm always sharing results. I've had people that have joined and they've made their first 20 grand, their first half a million, their first million. I'm sharing results each and every week because they are joining the program, they're doing the work, they overcome, well, they, they achieve fails, minute fails in their business, but they come to me, I've already experienced those failures, I help them get back on track. They overcome it, they move forwards, as I say, that tightens up their business because they're overcoming these micro failures and they're just getting better and better each week. That's why I'm always sharing client wins and client results on my profile and my email list because I'm just, again, I've experienced all the failures that I know they're going to go through. That's why they work with me and that's why they're succeeding. That really is it. So if you know you want to move forward, you're, you're happy to expect those micro failures, but your, your end goal is still to still the same, make six figures or seven figures with an online course business. I would love to help you. I want to help you navigate those failures and, and tighten up your business, get you to that six figures uh, and have fun doing it. That really is it. So if you want to check out a 13 minute video below on this video, uh, it explains the full process of what I do in my coaching program, how it all works and what the next steps are for you. So below this will be a link for you to check that out and then you can book a call with my amazing team. They'll run through your course idea or course progress if you already have a course. And then we get you up and running. That really is it. So expect failures, embrace failures, look for and seek out failures. Uh, doesn't apply just in business. It applies in life in general. But obviously, I'm a business nerd. So, But that really is it. That's, that's what you should be expecting and should be experiencing. If you're never expecting any failures at any point, you're just not doing enough, basically. Or you're lucky. One of the two. Fair play if you are just lucky. Awesome. But you're probably not. You're probably just experiencing failures and ultimately deciding two options. One, you'll just give up. Or two, you'll overcome it and move forwards. If you're in camp two, I want to work with you. I want to help you with your business. So check out the 13 minute below on this video and uh, have an awesome day.